my name is Rob Hooley, and joining me is Luke Withington. Hey, guys. Uh, now, you may recognize these players all around me uh, from last year, from the uh, prize ceremony. Uh, we'd like to, well, them to introduce themselves. Yeah, uh, my name is Jörg Müller. I'm 28 years old. I'm from Berlin, so I had a very short uh, wait to get here. And yeah, I played Necros last year. I finished second place. And yeah, I played Harpies at Walls, became 20th place, and it was a very great experience. Hi, I'm Ido Marcus. I'm from Israel, Tel Aviv. Uh, I played uh, Shadow's last championship and I won. Uh, and during Worlds, I got fifth with Heroes. Sono Alessandro Di Patria, vivo in Italia e l'anno scorso sono arrivato terzo all'Europeo di Dublino con Burning Abyss e quindi mi sono qualificato per il Mondiale e così. My name is Alessandro Di Patria. I came third the last year playing Burning Abyss in the previous uh, European Championship uh, and that's how I qualified to the World Championship. Thank you very much. Uh, now you may miss may notice that we're missing a body. Uh, Ricardo Loggia, he is actually judging this weekend. Uh, he, we couldn't find him today, but rest assured, we will have a one-on-one -on -one with him at some point um, just to see kind of what his story is. Um, Luke? Yeah, so um, can you guys tell us a little bit about you know, the tournaments that you've played in uh, since we last saw you in, in Dublin and how you qualified um, for, for, this, for this tournament? Yeah, uh, I played the West East Rumini, West East Prague, uh, the Poland Ch National Championship, uh, which I won uh, and qualified an additional time, I guess. And yeah, and awards, of, uh, obviously. Uh, yeah. Uh, I got second in my nationals and uh, uh, also played a few of the regionals, and plus I'm qualified because of last year. Uh, Alessandro, um, what, kind of, what tournaments have you been playing since Dublin last year and how did you qualify for this event? Hi, Alessandro. Uh, dopo, Rimini, uh, dopo Dublino ho giocato l'ICS di Rimini e, e ho giocato un mesetto fa il nazionale italiano e così, questo. Uh, after Dublin I played YCS Rimini and I played the uh, last... Uh, Italian National Championship. Thank you very much. Now, the reason we're all sat here is because, well, all of you went to the World Championships in Kyoto, Japan. Um, so we just want to ask a, a couple of questions about that, you know, your experiences whilst you were there. Um, now, I, from what I understand, some of you had to take some crazy routes to actually get there. Um, I think it was you, Jörg, you had a few, a fair few stops that you had to go on to be able to get over to Japan, wasn't there? Uh, yeah, I, it was like, uh, Berlin to Helsinki, uh, Helsinki to Osaka, I believe, and then with the bus to uh, Kyoto. Uh, yeah. I took a flight to Turkey, to Istanbul, and then a direct flight to Kyoto, so my trip was kind of easy. Qual è la tua rotta per andare a Giappone dalla Italia? Uh, ci sono stati, uh, non, ricordo, non ricordo la prima, il, la, la prima fermata, però comunque arri siamo arrivati in Giappone, abbiamo preso il Pullman e siamo arrivati al Mondiale. I don't remember exactly the first stop, but uh, once we get to Japan and get the bus, uh, everything went smooth from there. Thank you very much. So, um Let's, let's talk a little bit about how you prepared for the World Championships. It's a very unique event. You, you know, there was only a few of you that were representing the entire of, of the European force from the European Championships. How did you actually prepare for that? You know, it's a different, a different Forbidden Limited list, different card pool. You know, how, how, did, how did you prepare for such a special, special event? Uh, actually, I uh, uh, made a Facebook group. Uh, uh, introduced a lot of people, all I know, and we discussed a few uh, deck choices and actually came out with Tapius because uh, I, pred I, predict I predict predicted a lot of uh, Clifford and Satella Knight decks, and, but in the end I uh, played against Necros. Uh, I did a brainstorming with my friends about what is going to be the meta, 
and we agreed it's going to be probably Taylor Knight and Clifford, and we didn't took Necros at all as a count, so I chose Heroes to be the best uh, counter to, the, to these strategies, because uh, Heroes can use mass, mass Hero Acid to nuke the entire spell and trap field, and I played the Mystic Tomato to help me get the, the Dark Law faster. Um, ho testato completamente online perché comunque io vivo lontano dai miei amici quindi non ho potuto testare con gli amici e comunque ho deciso di giocare Hero però apparentemente è stata una brutta scelta I decided to play a lot of blind because I couldn't really uh, play a lot uh, with my friends at the end I decided to play Hero and it didn't uh, seem the best choice for the tournament so it sounds like you all kind of you didn't just rely on your own brain to sit and think about this. You all took all of your friends and various people you knew and really took all the power that you had within your group of friends to try and make the best deck you could. But was everyone quite receptive? Were they all kind of, you know, quite, quite happy to help, you think? Yeah? Yeah? That's uh, good. You guys were in Kyoto in Japan, which is an absolutely beautiful place to be. I mean, Surely you went to saw the sights. I mean, what was your favorite part about being in, in Kyoto? Mm, I believe it was uh, uh, the bus trip with the, uh, I don't know, the firework. And uh, it was very nice. Uh, all the uh, lighting torches and stuff. And yeah, it was very, 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 very beautiful, I guess. Uh, for me, it wasn't actually in Kyoto because I took uh, the train to Osaka and it was amazing for me. Uh, non so dire veramente il mio posto, cioè la mia cosa del Giappone perché a me io amo il Giappone, quindi qualsiasi cosa era in Giappone a me piaceva. I really love Japan, so um, I can't really choose what was my favorite moment as everything was a blast. Absolutely fantastic. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I've never been to Japan personally, so I'm extremely jealous of all of you. Um, <laughs> so I, I am as well. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, you were being watched by millions of people, basically. I think we got over a million watchers for that stream. Um, I mean, knowing that, how did you deal with that pressure? I mean, you, you had all eyes on you for that weekend. <laughs> it was actually very hard. Uh, I believe I misplayed two times on stream. Uh, I forgot to search for Hysteric Sign uh, and Happy Happiest a few times, but yeah, it was <laughs> I was a bit, a, a bit nervous, I guess. Um, but actually, it was kind of nice. My feature match in Worlds was amazing. It, w it took like five minutes, <laughs> and it was, uh, if I remember correctly, he opened Thunder King with two sets, and I had. Hero leaves and mask change, so I acid turn one, and the second duel had like two or three kinetics on the field, so it was really amazing. Uh, yeah, I remember it. It was very really fun. Eh, per me era ok perché comunque non sono un ragazzo che va molto spesso sotto pressione, quindi è stato normale. For me, I usually work uh, under pressure, so for me it was ok, and I. It did, do, did not affect me so much. I think that's all we've got time for here, Rob. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, well, uh, thank you very much for watching. Um, we will be getting back to the games uh, very, very soon. Uh, enjoy the next round. <laughs>